So you already gave us your famous jingle about greens. Can you just review why are greens so important? Why are you such a huge proponent of greens, especially for people who have advanced yeah. heart disease? My hands, yeah, when, I've got, when I get somebody that comes in, they've got angina, they've got heart disease, they've got angiograms that are confirmed, they're loaded with plaque. I really want to give them the absolute optimum I can. And so in addition to going through the whole food, plant-based nutrition we've talked about, this is a little extra that I started in the last five and a half years. And I say to the patient, look, if you were able to somehow get your head inside that artery that is so filled with that plaque, you would see it is an absolute cauldron of oxidative inflammation. Therefore, we need antioxidants. No, don't go down to the health food store and buy a jug of pills that says antioxidant because it doesn't work and it's going to be probably harmful. You're going to get your antioxidants from food. All right, what food? Food that is high in what we call ORAC value. O-R-A-C, oxygen radical absorptive capacity. So that means if you're having raspberries and blueberries and strawberries and blackberries on your old-fashioned oat cereal, terrific. But nothing can trump the antioxidant value of green leafy vegetables. Therefore, I ask these patients, now this is, I tell them, look, this is where you know me as a bit of a taskmaster, but I'm told I'm not as mean as I look. And I need them to chew, never smoothies, never juicing. I want them to chew a green leafy vegetable, roughly the size of their fist, after it has been boiled in water five and a half to six minutes, it's now nice and tender. Then they must, they must, they must anoint it with several drops of a delightful balsamic vinegar. Why? Because the acetic acid in the vinegar has been shown to restore the nitric oxide synthase enzyme contained within the endothelial cell that is responsible for making nitric oxide. And they're going to chew this alongside their breakfast cereal, again as a mid-morning snack, again with their lunch and sandwich, again mid-afternoon, again at dinner time, and I adore it when they have that evening snack of kale. What are they doing? All day long, they are basking and they are bathing that oxidative cauldron of inflammation with nature's most powerful antioxidants. This and, is that's why, and that is why literally, with these patients with angina and chest pain, they do this and suddenly, within days they see it being diminished and often it disappears. And I've absolutely, and I've got them hooked. 